Hey guys, Brian from Progressive Force Concepts here to talk to you guys about our Bob, or as we call it, the Ballistic Off-Body Bag. Uh, this is a proprietary system that we uh, designed in conjunction with Velocity Systems, Victory Tactical Gear, and High Threat Concealment. The whole purpose behind this is that it is a low visibility slash no visibility off-body carriage system that's unrivaled by anything else that's on the market. Uh, first, the exterior appearance of the bag. We wanted to go with something that was distinctly non-tactical. So no camouflage, no molly webbing, no, uh, no multi-cam, no anything along those lines. This is in a forest green. We also have it in a navy blue, black, and uh, some other colors are likely coming soon. You can even see I accentuated it with a, an STP patch as kind of overt camouflage. So that's point number one. Uh, in addition, the way the, uh, the system actually deploys, I wear it off body and the purpose behind that is we don't all the time, whether we're wearing gym clothes, have on belt loops, or in the summertime when we're just in a t-shirt, the idea of wearing a concealment garment doesn't always work. We know that sometimes when the novelty of carrying concealed wears off, that folks will actually look for an excuse or talk themselves out of carrying concealed. I'm just going to the store to get a gallon of milk. I'm not going to carry that firearm. This one system, this standalone system, allows me pulling it off the banister to throw it over my shoulder, have a full-size firearm, support equipment to include additional magazines, trauma supplies, flashlight, as well as identification and level 3A armor. Let me show you how it works. I'm a left-hander. I carry this slightly off on my left-hand side off of the hip. So from here, my support hand, in this case my right hand, is going to catch what I call a pull ring. Anybody can customize this any way they want to. I've just done it with a small piece of red 550 cord and a camping carabiner. I'm going to pull that down to my support side hip. That deploys and opens the bob up, putting me essentially into an appendix style carry where I go to firearm and I come up on target. Looking at the system and what we have once we open, first off, one of our major concerns for the, the legal concealed carrier or the off-duty police officer is that responding officers are going to show up and they're not going to be able to identify that you're a good guy. So I have a very high visibility CCW patch as well as my CCW creds located right on the drop-down panel. In addition, on the drop-down panel and on the top portion of the bag, level 3A armor in a six by nine panel, which creates a surface of six inches by 18 inches of armor. In the event that the situation or time allows for it and the user can get their dominant arm out of the strap, these two risers can be pulled. This place is six by 18 inches of armor over the thoracic cavity and the pelvic girdle of the end user. We like to say when we look at a paper target, if we hung this bag with those two surfaces on the target and we said those two areas are off limits, that would be a pretty daggone tar uh, hard target to actually take and shoot. So that's a nice feature there. In addition, behind the actual firearm, we have a storage compartment where I do have an additional armor panel, but this allows me to store whatever I want to have back there. One of the areas that we know that people uh, neglect when they carry concealed is they typically are not carrying the appropriate amount of medical supplies. So they're not carrying a tourniquet, they're not carrying a dressing, a nasopharyngeal airway and the like. What else can I have in here? I could have flex cuffs, I could have a doorstop, I could have that additional flashlight, anything else that you want to take and carry on your person. If we took and put something on the stopwatch, the amount of time to take and apply a belt to a traditional uh, uh, waistband system and attach a magazine pouch and a holster and gear up versus taking this bag, pulling it off the banister and simply throwing it over my shoulder, there's really no comparison. You can see I've set this back up and I'm geared back up to go over back to my dominant side again. Another feature on this that we, uh, we really like is the, the very, very difficult challenge of working inside of a motor vehicle. We know that if we're concealed and we have a seat belt on, that it's incredibly difficult to take and defeat the seat belt as well as the concealment garment and get the firearm out. From a seated position inside of a vehicle, it's the easiest thing you've ever done of simply again coming up, catching that pull tab, deploying the bag open, acquiring the firearm, and then coming up on target. So the times don't even, uh, don't even compare one to the other of a traditional carriage system. So one of the aspects uh, as far as the Bob goes is it's a, a customizable option. So the first uh, piece of data that we need to, uh, to need to get from you guys if you're interested is the color that you'd prefer to have it in. The next piece of data is whether you are left or right handed. And then the final piece of data is the actual firearm that you carry. So let's say you've got a HK uh, USP, or in this case, you've got a Glock 19 or a Glock 17. We just need to know that data because the holster that is made for us by High Threat Concealment is a custom formed Kydex holster, which provides a really high quality fit and finish in the way that it's attached to the Molly interface inside of the bag. Again, uh, this is available from PFC Loadout. 
And uh, our uh, contact information for ordering this bag is up on the screen. Thanks a lot for looking.